This is Billy and I'm out in the woods with my old buddy Kenny. While I was out, I thought I'd take advantage of a few plants that's up real young and show you what they look like when they're just coming out. And right here is, this is wild ginger right here. And uh, this is it. First coming out, nice little patch here. I spotted off forward. I'm going to come up here and show it to you. And uh, that is what young wild ginger looks like. And that's really good. And I'm going to take this one right here. It'll probably be connected to that one. I'm going to take this and make me a, a ginger drink out of it. And that's all I need right there. So I'm going to take that with me. Here's a young shoot of Solomon seal. Let me dig down and show you that right. And what I want, want you to learn is uh, this is false Solomon seal. Now when this plant gets grown, it'll come way out here and be big and tall. And right on the tip of it, it'll have a wad of berries. And remember that. Filed Solomon seal has got a yellow root. It's got knots on it. And when you dig it... Uh, the berries will be down here, and this is false salmon seal. They do buy false salmon seal. And if you can see that right there, that, that yellow color. So that's false salmon seal, and uh, I want to show you that. We're going to put that right back down in there since we didn't break the bud on it, and the stalk's still attached to it, still growing up for this. We're having good luck today finding a lot of little young stuff, and I'm learning you. Uh, I want to show you what real young, true Solomon seal looks like. We've looked at the false salmon seal already. And here's you an example of a true salmon seal. They favor a lot, but even little, you can see the difference in how those leaves are done. And again, when this plant grows up and gets mature, right underneath it, coming down the back side of the branch, will be little flowers hanging down that looks like bells. Let's dig this enough here and let you see the difference in the color of those roots. Okay. See? Look at that. It's identical to the other one, the false Solomon seal, except for the color. And it is pearl white. Look there, how pearl white. And but true and false both has got them little basketball humps on them. And them little stretch necks in between every hump. And this is a baby. They get uh, 8 inches long and as big around as your thumb and bigger. Now we do buy both true and false salmon seal when, it's, when we've got an order for it. Come across the field a little bit here guys. And here is a... Uh uh, a real nice little bath root plant and it's not yet got the flowers on it. They can have white, pink flowers. I've seen them red. Um, they can have a variety of colors but the leaf will always look the same. And this is a small one but here's bath root right here. That is bath root. The, the, the root of these is like a bulb. It's round. And uh, let me let me show you get down there to it. I'm going to be careful with this because I'd like to see that finish coming up and throw its flowers off and its seed. Uh, but here you go. This is bath root. See how it's got a bulb? It's round. Okay, this is a, a young plant. That will get up to three and a half inches long and as round as a quarter, sometimes close to a half a dollar. When you dig this bath root, since it's so bulbous and it's watery root, this is real important. When you dig bath root, you're going to find a lot bigger root in that, but that gives you the idea. When you dig bath root, be sure to take a pocket knife or a hatchet, it's a good sharp thin bladed hatchet, and chop the biggest ones about twice, about pieces about that long. And then dry it, because if you leave it whole, you'll never get it dry. It'll go bad in the middle before you get it dry, if you ain't got a dryer. So if you're drying it on a screen or by the sun or in a greenhouse, and uh, drying it natural, which is the really best way to dry it. Be sure to cut it in pieces about that long, okay? And if it's a piece that long, just cut it in half. But if it's a big mature chunk, and you'll see that when you dig it, then cut it at least twice to help it dry. Now we're going we're gonna to put this piece of bathroom right back down in the ground here. 
and put some dirt back around it. Pat it down. And let it continue to grow till it gets big enough to make something out of. Well, here's a piece of blood root. We might as well add it to the list today. <laughs> uh, it is a nice little bunch of blood root. And there it is with its flower that reproduces and makes more blood root. Down in there's a little yellow right down in there. And that is blood root. Over here is one that ain't flowering. It's a uh, flower has some reason or another. If you look right there, it's been tipped off. So pretty much everybody knows what blood root looks like, but I'll go ahead and dig one just in case somebody might want to know that don't know. And show it to them. And we'll bring this one up out of there. And here is blood root. And uh, it is orange. And if you break it open, I'm not going to break it open because I'm going to put it back. It's not real mature. It gets a lot bigger than that. But if you break this open, it's got a real bright orange. Uh, almost a watery run and you can put that on your face and use it for uh, paint Indian war paint <laughs> seriously though that's what the Indians did with it they used it for paint I don't know I like to get out in the woods when I'm mushroom hunting and look at all these little plants and I just thought I'd learn you what they was if you got to see them smile so you could have fun enjoying looking hey right here's a place if my buyer was to say Billy I need 50 pound of salmon seal or 50 pound of uh, I mean just look at the May apple in here and hits everywhere. I mean, just style down through there. You can see my apple everywhere. It's like it's in a field. If I needed true or false salmon seal, may apple, uh, blue cohosh, or black cohosh, this place is just standing in it for far as I can see over that way from over the other ridge and all the way down the holler to the flat down there, which is about 140 yards. So, man, I mean, I could just lay it, sit down on my hind end right here and just dig down through here. I mean, it's good to spot stuff like that because sometimes roots go up in value. Some roots like these, it's not real high in value. Sometimes they'll go up in value, and it's good to know where a big field of it is in these big old woods. I see a white elm tree down there. There's a little bit of everything in here, Kenny. What are you doing, bro? Got plenty in here, don't it? Yeah, they sure is.